He's a 10. What are you? Oh, uh, look, if you're dating out of your league, yes, you're going to have to make more compromises than if you're dating in your own league or, or below your league. Man! Of course. I'm here for you 24-7-52. Man! Yes? We're out of toilet paper! Honey, are you wearing pants? Jimmy Doyle lives his life by two words. Pants optional. Uh-oh. Hot mom! Sorry, Hannah. Honey, find some tissues and put some pants on. Nancy Doyle, life coach. I help people overcome their obstacles. My family has many obstacles. <laughs> Shut the door! <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, who are you? Who are you? Caitlin Jones. I own the park. Jimmy Doyle, happening dude. Nice to meet you. Normally, we like our guests to check in before they park their recreational vehicles. Oh, yeah, well, uh, well okay. Uh, <clears throat> you see, what had happened was... The road was awash with rain. We're in Malibu. It doesn't rain in Malibu. Are you telling the story? No. The road was awash with rain. I was worried for my sleeping family's safety. My beautiful wife, Nancy. My perfect son, Ryder. My uh, daughter, Hannah. Then I heard something snap. Was it the axle? Was it the foley? Was it the brake line? I couldn't tell. I had to get my family to safety, but quick. I looked up and saw your sign lit up like there was a spotlight coming down from heaven above. I knew if I parked here, everything would be okay. So, thanks for checking in on us. You're a good one. It's $90 a day. Not that good. And I'm gonna have to ask you to sign a waiver for this spot. I mean, it's been more than 30 years now, but there was a toxic spill here. Oh, that sounds like a toxic discount to me. I'll see what I can do. So how long are you gonna be with us? Uh, TBA. That's a uh, tba -er. Or TBD, to be determined. Mm-hmm. Yeah, TBA, to be announced. Yeah. So, welcome to Malibu? You are so welcome. Oh! Mm. Oh! Okay. Uh, you should come by tonight. We're having Mexican. Oh, margaritas? No, nope, just frozen burritos. Okay, maybe next time. I'll have the whole family sign the form and get it back to you. <laughs> huh? Who's your girlfriend? Oh, uh, not my girlfriend. Uh, yeah, right, the lady runs the place. I mean, she's just, you know, uh, totally unattractive. Ugh. When mom divorces you, do I have to call her mommy? What's this? It's a release form. You know, something about residual toxic residue or... Toxic residue? This rolling petri dish you call a house is already breaking every health code imaginable! Uh, little visit from your monthly friend, Hannah? Lola! I want to be called Lola. Right. Little visit from your monthly friend, Lola? I'm almost an adult. I should be able to choose my own name. Lola works. I could have gone with something stupid like Gwyneth. If we wanted to call you Lola, we would have named you Lola. Ah! Honey, what are you doing? Da, 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 da. Jimmy has such a way with words. He's a real people person. Light a match if you're taking a dump. <laughs> Nothing wrong here. So, you told your father you want to be known as Lola now? I think it's pretty. It is pretty. But, um, Lola, you need to put a bra on. You're a growing woman, a blossoming flower of loveliness. Not only do you need support, but I won't have you walking around looking like such a tart. Hannah? She's a little misguided right now, but she's at an age where we can still straighten her out. Jimmy, how long are we going to be here? Should I run an ad? Nah, not long at all. I'm going under the hood to see what's what, and we'll be off to Tijuana to collect 300 ceramic Jesuses before you can say... Or is it jeez I? What? What's the plural of our lord? Lords. Right. 300 ceramic lords. That's it. We'll be off to Tijuana to collect 300 ceramic lords before you can say it's a miracle. I'm happy to support Jimmy's religious explorations, but I take no responsibility for this. Happy. Very. Have you seen your brother? Have you tried the nearest vagina? Hi. Hey. Didn't see you coming. I'm Christina. <clears throat> oh, this is Carrie. Hi there. What's up? We're visiting her grandfather. He lives in an RV right over there. Great story. So, how long are you in for? Long enough. You live here? Just pulled in last night. Yeah, wanted to experience Malibu. 
before I die. Oh my god, are you dying? <gasps> are you dying? I would die. Are you dying? Aren't we all? That's why you have to live. That's exactly what it says in this book, Cat. Carrie? Right. So, ever try an oil massage? No. You should. It can be very sensual. You should too. I'm trained. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm in. Sure. It's almost too easy. Oh, and uh, I'm not trained. Hey, dropout. Mom and Dad are looking for you. Who's that? My sister. She's adopted. But we love her just the same. Aww. Why'd she call you a dropout? I tried college. Worst week of my life. I'm not adopted! Adopted. No, no. I understand. I have two of my own. <laughs> but this isn't about me. It's about you. So, why do you think your children are trying to send you to an early grave? Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. Daddy? Yeah, honey? FYI, Ryder is macking on two locals. Ah, uh, just two? <sighs> honey, hand Daddy a wrench. Sweetie? Jimmy's such a lovely jack-of-all-trades. Honey, I said hand me a wrench. One more sweet name and I might have to help you. Mind if I take a look? Huh? Here. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't stop you, uh, old man. George. Jimmy. Yeah, you might need a new timing belt, along with a new pants belt. Boop. Oh, bad news, my friend. Your whole engine is shot. You learned all that in three seconds? The looks he confirmed what I already guessed. I heard you pull in last night. I keep odd hours. Oh, so you're the weird old guy everyone will warn us about. Yeah, some like that, if they decide to be friendly and talk to you. Well, it's really nice to meet you. What's your mole stance on eavesdropping? In line with my stance on tattletales. But Ryder is- I heard. He's starting his own Malibu social network. What is wrong with you people? He's an adult. See, he's living under your roof. Again. What? You always use the under our roof thing against me. Well, you're a young lady. I have no interest in being a lady. Well, you can decide not to be a lady when you don't live under our roof. <laughs> David, hey, Nancy Doyle. Yes, yeah, still with him. How's your wife? Look, I'd love to chat, but this is a business call. How much would an engine for our RV run? Now, when you say thousands, do you really mean, uh, $42? If I thought it would work, I would have added the two pieces of stale gum and one unused tampon. Okay, you know my number next time you'd like to talk about your goal path alignment. <sighs> I can hold this arm out all day. I'm married. It gets a lot of work. So does the other one. Uh, going numb. Think I'm losing blood flow. Uh, oh, man. How long were we standing there? Two minutes. Ah, it was the longest two minutes of my life. Shot? I don't think so, old man. RV1 Jimmy Doyle Zero. But that's about to change. Mm, God. Honey, how about you give it up? You've been at it all day. Almost got it! Uh, RV2 Jimmy Doyle Zero. Mm. Can you see if someone in the park has the jaws of life? Oh, okay. We should probably have a family meeting tonight. We should probably update my will. <laughs> Ooh, that tickles. <laughs> Put your hand, like, on my side of my waist and then the other hand on my neck. Whoa. <laughs> Haven't you heard of privacy? Haven't you ever heard of mind your own business? Now, let's call this family meeting to order because I'm starving and Mexican night won't magically appear in my belly. So, the faster we get this started... I was going to wait for Ryder. Oh, uh, he might be a bit. You can't stop that. You can only hope he tells you all about it. 
Okay, fine. Our first order of business. I think we're gonna be staying at this park for some time. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, I heard about the engine. We don't have the kind of money we need to repair it. Uh, how do you expect me to go pick up the ceramic Jesuses from Mexico? It's not like they're gonna walk on water across the border and sell themselves. Though that would constitute a miracle. Amen, sister. The ceramic lords will have to wait. Boo! Please don't boo. Sorry, I was upset. Oh, I understand that you want to express your emotions, but you need to come up with constructive outlets. Use your words, Daddy. Um, all right. I appreciate your understanding. May I make a motion? Absolutely, dear. I motion that the family has to start calling me Lola. All in favor? Two to one. Lola it is. Write it down, mother. Wait a second, young lady. I didn't vote for it, neither did Ryder. But he's not here. And absentees go to the majority. That's how Mom explained it when she taught me Robert's Rules of Order. It's a rule. It's Robert's Rule. Yes, but Ryder voted against Lola last time, and I'm acting as his proxy vote. Ties are decided by me, and your name is Hannah. That name is special to your mother and me. Spelled the same forwards and backwards. That is so... Dumb! There are more positive ways to express. You're right. This entire situation is dumb. She takes after you. She just needs space. We're at an RV park. She has all the space she could ever need. This is temporary, right? Of course. I know. It's summer and school doesn't start back for a while, but we'll have to get back at some point. Right. Look at it this way. She can take this time to learn about herself. Oh, it's not easy being a young woman. I understand. Oh, really? Mm, not personally, but, you know, I get it. In concept. It's not that easy being a grown man, either. Uh, this one yours? No. He sure is. Tell him to stay away from my granddaughter and her friend, or at the very least, pick one. <laughs> now that one takes after me. You okay, Bo Peep? Are you a sexual deviant? Not today. <sighs> you're... you're... you're Todd Woodman. Yeah, last I checked. What are you doing here? This is my trailer. Whoa. Were you stuck trying a divorce or something? Nah, not exactly. I like to be close to the ocean. I surf. Uh, my parents have been telling me that trailers can actually be cool. I just... I never believe them. My parents always said the acting thing would never go anywhere. Now I send them checks every month. How much do you give them? Nothing. I like to send them photocopies of my huge multi-million dollar paychecks to rub in their face. I could learn a lot from you. You want a beer? I'm 16. Oh. You want a cigarette then? Um, no. What's your name, kid? Hannah. <clears throat> Lola. Lola. Cool name. I could love this man. Do me a favor, don't tell anyone I'm here. It's nice to be ignored. Not when you're 16. Trust me, kid. Nothing's nice when you're 16. What do you got there? Now that I'm stuck in such a cramped RV, the only place I can expand is in my journal. That's deep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I gotta go. See you later, Todd. See you around, kid. <laughs> provide for his family. Sometimes it's 300 ceramic lords and sometimes it's even less holy. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question every father dreads asking his son. You know how to hotwire an RV? What are you doing in my RV? Uh, sleepwalking. Don't wake me up, it's dangerous. Ooh, quick thinking, Pop. Yeah, you two better get before you wake up my granddaughter. Dad, you distract the old man and I'll distract the granddaughter. Not so fast. Ow. Hey, let go of him. Ow, 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 oh, he's freakishly strong. Try not to hate your father. Try not to hate your father is like the default Doyle hello. I love him, but I have no choice. Why you love him, I will never understand. When we met, he had the bum of a figure skater. Ugh, gross. Where is the big bum? Ah! You little son of a- The old man's got wheels! <laughs> Every Doyle for himself! Come on! Get away from me! Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I, I think we lost him. Oh, whew. I haven't run like that since <clears throat> ever. Yeah, you're looking a little purple in the face, old man. I'm kind of concerned. Uh, hey, with all that running, we have to be like halfway to Tijuana already. 
You know what, son? Oh, boy. I think there's a way we can still get those lords. Hey, Mexican Steve! The Doyles are en route. Up well, soon. Soonish. Well, it's really a, a tba -er. Huh? Yeah, I know what that means. Mexican Steve! It's me, Jimmy! Jimmy Doyle! Esteban. Totally! This is my son, Ryder. Esteban. Esteban to you as well, sir. Sígueme, sígueme. Yeah, so, kid, before we follow this guy I barely know down a dark alley, remember, never, ever tell your mom we hitchhiked to Mexico. Ahem. <clears throat> mom? Yeah? Uh -huh. I've decided I want to seize this new opportunity that Malibu has provided to us. Well, that's fantastic news. And I'm thinking of taking up surfing to, you know, commune with the earth. Who's the boy? Why do you think there's a boy? I was once a teenage girl, too, you know. Do you want to talk about your urges? Oh, uh, aren't you worried about Dad? He's been gone for a while. No, he's with Ryder. And that makes you less worried about Dad? Can't talk! Roaming charges! Uh oh! I think I heard mariachi music. I think they might be in Mexico. And that surprises you how? Well, can you do that thing where you track his phone? The thing I always do for you but never mention I do for you? Yes. On it. So we're supposed to row to California? See. Si. All the way to California? See. Si. Why? Duty free. Fair enough. Let's go. <laughs> Dad, it feels like we're already sinking. Real fast, son. Real fast. Sorry, I couldn't row faster, Dad. Well, this isn't on you. It was just more Jesus than the boat could handle. Is this how people die? Some people, maybe, but not the Doyles. Are you there, God? It's me, Jimmy! I know we haven't spoken since the last time I needed something from you, but uh, this one is, well, it's really kind of a pickle. You know that everything I do, I do for my family. Nearly everything. At least half. De definitely half. So, if you could, in your divine wisdom, see fit to save me, I know you won. Uh, Dad? Huh? Oh, and save my son, too. No, uh, your higher power is surprisingly low-tech. I take that back. Attention, this is the United States Coast Guard. Please hold tight to those lifesavers. Thank you. And then, after some deeply personal questions, they brought us to shore and we got back here, reunited with the family we love. And we definitely didn't hitchhike, like there or back. I think we're stuck here for the time being. I tried. I really tried. You know what? Can we put a positive spin on this? How about we're choosing to stay here for a bit? All in favor of choosing to stay in Malibu? It's unanimous. We're choosing to stay here. So, all that's left is for someone to sweet talk the owner of the park and get us a good rate. Tips. I'll just make sure he stays in the country. This time... Huh? <gasps> Mr. Doyle, what can I do for you? I love my wife. I love my wife. I love mm -hmm. my wife. I love my wife. Good. You should tell her. Hey, hey. Settle down, Junior. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, Doyles are good workers. If you cut us a deal, I'm sure there's always something around here that, you know, we could do. Something needs moving or, or lugging or, you know rolling out of the way, or fixing, or, or shoring up, or, or, or knocking down, or thrown away, or taken to the curb, or taken downtown to the dump, or painted, or glazed, or, uh, you know, uh, 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 something. We'll figure something out. Oh, thank you. Uh, and the residual toxic residue doesn't bother us at all. Don't even notice it. Uh, excuse me? Show up to family meetings and you'll know this stuff. I had to proxy your signature. You're welcome. Here you go. Once again, welcome to Malibu. No hugs this time. Oh, and uh, 
FYI, I think that old man George is going senile, so whatever you hear from him is based in senility and not fact. Plus, I think he's... And, uh... uh as well as... And a little of this, and a... Some of that. And one of... And one of those. And one of these. Um, I'm in here! Occupado! Raising a family in an RV is like an exercise, a coaching exercise in intimacy. Seriously, I'm gonna be in here for a while. Not historically. Fine, I'll go outside. Light a match if you're taking a dump. Can you get back here, you dirty little hamster? Okay, all right, stop pulling your hair. It's my turn. My turn. Get your lips mm -hmm. away from here. Mm -hmm. oh. Occupado! God, we really need to teach our kids English. I think that's the front door, honey. Mr. Doyle. Caitlin, please call me Jimmy. I believe this is your daughter. She was caught au naturel. Mm, no comprendo. She was popping a squat in sight of the main road. Said her name's Hannah Doyle. Nope. Our daughter's name is Lola. Sorry. Nan! Looks like we got the RV to ourselves for a while. Yeehaw, Daddy! You are the worst parents ever! And while this last piece under bizarre, a strange scene on the beaches of Malibu today. Our Renee Montez is there now with a story. Renee? No one can explain the appearance as approximately 300 ceramic Jesuses have started to wash up along the beach here in Malibu. Many religious people have flocked to the site and consider it a sign of high importance. Altogether, it's a very reverent scene. Back up, people! These lords are mine! Mine! And that's what's going on here in Malibu. I'm René Montes. Hey, hey, René Montes. Settle down, Junior. Hey, lady, watch it. Hey, give me that back. Those are mine, you sinners! Put them down! Stop it! Don't touch the lord like that! 